everyone, Jess here. For today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. This year, I decided to participate in Emulsive Secret Santa Challenge. So for those of you who don't know what Emulsive is, it is an online community of film photographers from pretty much around the world who contribute content geared solely towards film photography interests. There are tons of reviews on different film stocks, on different film cameras, and there are also a lot of uh, community interviews with photographers from around the world as well. I did one of those interviews a couple years ago, so if you are interested in checking it out, I'll link that below for you. And I highly recommend that you go to the website and read some of the other content. It is a great way to spend a rainy Sunday afternoon. So if you don't know what a Secret Santa is, it's basically a blind gift exchange, meaning that the person I'm sending a gift to doesn't know who I am, and I don't know the person who's sending me a gift. So Emulsive have taken this concept and applied it to its global community that they've created and paired us up with people from around the world. Uh, last year there was something like 780 participants and this year it has grown to well over 1,200. Uh, clearly this is a concept that is catching on and it's so fun and exciting I just had to join this year. Uh, so when I joined up, I went on to the online platform and I was able to fill out a wish list. Uh, so basically the wish list just kind of gives a, an idea of like what kind of photographer you might be by the film stocks you've chosen, by the formats you've chosen. Uh, also if you've chosen like little pins or stickers or whatnot, um, it just gives the person giving you a gift kind of an idea of who you are as a film photographer. You're also allowed to ask uh, incognito questions that can lead towards other gifts or just other ways of getting to know each other. Um, and as well, if you're given access to different forms of social media, you can check out their Facebook page maybe or Instagram, even a website. Um, anyway, so basically just kind of brings the film community together and helps you get to know people you would not otherwise know on a regular basis. So that being said, uh, it is the first week of December and I don't want to miss any of those you know, last minute uh, holiday deadline rush times. Um, especially because if you do so, you're kind of labeled a bad Santa and banned from participating in future years. So I'm gonna head out today and start my shopping. music scene in Canada for many years. I've photographed musicians, album covers, and live performances. I've gone to countless shows in countless venues, and for as long as I've been on my own, I have opened my apartment to a countless number of touring bands as a place to rest. And if there is one thing that I've learned from all of this, is that every art form needs a home. If this were the music industry, then this place would definitely be the gathering place. The store would be the record shop, the darkroom in the back, the recording studio. And if the gallery were to be the venue, then the collective operating within these walls would undoubtedly be the record label. Everything picked out and bagged up, I hit the street and, in the pouring rain, decided it would be a good idea to head somewhere warm and grab a coffee.
Okay, so now I'm back home with all my goodies and I'm ready to pack this up and ship it out. I've got my cup of eggnog with me. Delicious, festive too, you know. So I decided to start off with some Poutine sauce. As a Montrealer, I had no choice. You know, um, fries, gravy, cheese, it's what we're all about. So it goes in the box. I also found out that the person I'm sending this gift to enjoys coffee, so I headed out to a local roaster to pick up a bag of um, coffee beans. And they even actually have pictures of the iconic St. Denis Street on the side of their packaging, which I thought was kind of neat. There. While I was at Studio Argentique, I picked up one of these handy little Japan Camera Hunter cases. I love these things. They are awesome. And I decided to put a few rolls of film in it. Of course, I had to. It's a film photography thing, right? So. And I thought that it would be fun to maybe get a couple of like more experimental things. So there's actually a roll of Kodak Double X film, which I would really love to try as well. I'll have to go and pick up a few rolls myself after the holidays. And uh, I picked up a roll of CineStill 800, which was actually on the person's list. So I thought that would be fun, you know? And then for a little bit more traditional style photography, there's the classic Portra 160. Hopefully this gets enjoyed, you know? And one last thing, I just had to buy this t-shirt. Isn't this cool? Oh man, it's rich. Apparently my cat is going to make a, an appearance as well. <laughs> anyway, so I got this t-shirt. I just thought it was really neat. I remember the day that they actually came out. Mansbridge. <laughs> Say hi to everyone, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> uh, anyways, so as I was saying, I had to pick up this t-shirt. I'd seen them a while ago when they first came out, and I thought that they were really cool. And seeing a studio Argentique is kind of like a bit of a hot spot for Montreal film photographers. I thought it'd be nice to have, you know, kind of have a piece of that as well. It's always the place that I recommend to just about anyone who writes to me through my Instagram or whatever, from my videos and stuff, asking, you know, what places they should head to when they're in the city. And definitely Studio Argentique is one of them. A cool camera shop mixed in with an art gallery and a dark room. So you get to pick up sometimes some really cool little things and you can see some local art as well, which I think is pretty neat. All right, we're gonna stuff this in here now. There we go. And of course I added a little card, a little note. Thought that would be nice, you know? And actually, I lied. There's one more thing I'm gonna add. I'm actually going to print a couple pictures from uh, with my Instax printer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, with my Instax printer, uh, I'm going to choose a couple images from the Fujifilm Sensi Expired film video that I shot, uh, just because I thought it'd be a nice little personal touch. And for any of you who haven't uh, actually seen the video, I will post the link up here for you all. So I'm going to print out these pictures, pack this all up, ship it out, and I'll see you on Christmas morning when I get to open my gift.
All right, here we are, Christmas morning. And so for those of you who are celebrating Christmas, I really hope you have a wonderful day today. And for anyone who doesn't celebrate Christmas, I still hope you're having a wonderful day today. But what I really, really wish for all of you is that no one has to work today. Because <laughs> uh, that's terrible any day of the year, but especially on Christmas. So I have my Secret Santa gift here. I got it a couple weeks ago and I left it wrapped in the original mailing uh, because I wasn't sure if everything was wrapped on the inside and I really didn't want to ruin any surprises. I wanted to open this only on Christmas Day as the rules are stated. So here we go. Oh, maybe I should have had scissors. I'll get there. Here we go. I was right, it wasn't all wrapped up, but it looks like lots of fun in here. Got a roll of Ilford Delta 400, one of my favorite films. Ooh, oh, this is gonna be fun. Some high-speed infrared Kodak. I've never tried this film. A black and white as well. Oh, this is gonna be really interesting. Ah, oh, Cine Still, and it's the, the Daylight one too. I've never tried this. I am super excited. And uh, actually, if you remember from my last video, which I'll, uh, I'll link up here for you, um, you can ask Cine Still any question that you might have for them. So head on over to the other video to get the link to the article where you can submit your questions in the comment section of the article. There's some more little stuff in here. Oh, this is cool. I got some old family slides. Oh my goodness. Oh, well that is really special. This is like the coolest, oh my. I, I don't know if you can actually see any of this. There's not really much lighting in here. Oh, this is really special. I'm going to scan these and send them to you. And I got a little collection of some of the, my person's favorite prints. That's really cool. I wonder, I, the return address said Toronto, so I'm assuming that this is a picture of maybe their neighborhood in Toronto. Pineapple, love pineapples. Oh, these are really, really special. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a little llama. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> you might have known, but I love llamas and alpacas. All right. Oh, and I've got like all kinds of little cards, postcards and another print and, and a little, Chris I think a little Christmas card in here. Get this open up too. Oh, okay, this is really awesome. Thank you so much for the handwritten note. And funnily enough, uh, the person who got me, her name is also Jessica. So that's really kind of cool. She actually started it off from one Jess to another. So from one Jess to another, thank you so much for this gift. This was really special. I can't wait to get shooting some of this fun film and to spend a little bit more time with all of the prints and figure out where I'm gonna hang them up and whatnot. Anyways, this has been so much fun. I really can't wait until next year's edition of the Emulsive Secret Santa. I am definitely gonna participate again. And I really hope that the person that I sent my gift to really enjoyed it as well. And once again, I wish you all a Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever you're celebrating or not celebrating. I just hope you're having a wonderful time and I'll see you in my next video. This is so cool. Oh, she even says happy experimenting. <laughs> oh, this is fun.